guys and welcome along to Bollafan TV. I'm Mike Loudon and this video is about the departure of Bolla goalkeeper Dimi Constantopoulos and Constantopoulos. I kind of like didn't quite get it all right there eh? but I am um, yeah after six years at Bolla today at the age of 40 year old Dimi has left. Aye. Dimi had a good two seasons of being um, and I say two whole seasons of being regular first choice keeper and that was mostly well all, not mostly all under I talk of anchor I I'm wearing this shirt because although it's not a goalkeeper's shirt um because it is a shirt which um was won for a big season of him playing Obviously, when they got promoted back in 2016, I mean, I, Dimmy, he made the odd mistake at times, but other than that, what a great keeper he was. I mean, I think in the last 10 years, um, he's been definitely in the top three keepers. I'd actually put Randolph as the top one they've had in the last 10 years um, I mean as permanent keepers actually if Shea Given wasn't only temporary I would pull him in, in the top three but because um, he, he, he was only on loan I wouldn't count Shea Given but yeah I think the best three keepers in the last 10 years they've had who've played permanently I'd say Steele, Dimmy, and uh, top of all three, who hopefully we can keep next season, Dallin Randolph. Aye, Dimmy first came to Bolla, obviously back in 2013, was signed on an emergency temporary contract um, under Tony Mowbray when Steele had got injured. At Charlton, and then Lou Tyler had to play. I mean, Dimmy was signed as an emergency backup keeper back then and made his first appearance in the FA Cup 2 0 defeat against Hull City in, yeah, it was the start of January 2014. Aye, when Dimmy first started playing. I doubted him for a bit, particularly at time against QPR at home at the Riverside when um, we lost 2-1 by two late goals. One of them being um, a bad mistake where, well, and it was to blame of a bottle lead on a pitch which caught the ball and then Dimmy fell over and then the QPR's goal was in the back of the net. And yes, I doubted him at first, but um, of course, you can forgive keepers for the odd mis a good keeper for the odd mistake they've made. Um, but yeah, we had some brilliant moments under Dimmy. I mean, of course, um, he was the second choice for Kalanka originally, um, and then. Like Kalanka for me, he asked would have beat him, but um, no, Dimmy managed to win his place back when Mahias came in. Um, but yeah, we had some great moments under D Dimmy. I mean, like pulled out some fantastic saves. Um, so no, we don't have many good saves. It's hard to think what the top one. Um, was I mean like he was a well organised goalkeeper and like he'd always used to secure the ball well um, which of course if I was a manager that'd be my favourite type of goalkeepers ones who like secure the ball and not just knock it out whereas um, one in particular who used to always knock it out 
well, I'll list a few actually. That Mejia used to always knock it out. Valdez used to always knock it out. Um, Lavin Security. Um, oh, and that bad Guzan as well. Always used to knock it out. But yeah, some best moments under Dimmy. I think one was at Nottingham Forest um, when he played much like. If it wasn't for him, they wouldn't have won. This was Nottingham Forest in September 2013. And I can remember the moments at the end when I was so close, but I just missed it by the fact about a foot of jumping, not quite high enough, of getting his gloves and he came like up to the crowd after a Sky interview and they all sang his, Oh, Demi Demi. Demi, 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 concert up, alas. Um, and he threw his gloves into the crowd and I just missed, missed them. And of course, um, well, another big one to Demi is when they're just hanging on to the, um, the one all draw when um, we were in the eight minutes of stoppage time. Against um, Bright Brighton in, back in twenty sixteen when um, it was it was that fly at the end which he managed to grab the ball from and then, like next thing I realised I turned and said at the time I said to the end it was like thirteen minutes left no thirteen seconds left I said to the other lads and we thirteen seconds and then the next. Thing far north, the left blew the whistle. And I, of course, Dimmy now, um, and I imagine he's going to the tyre. I mean, he's played for Bother, Hartlepool, Cardiff, Swansea, AK Athens, and a few other Greek teams. And of course, is he going to go into coaching or is he just going to rely on him? Um, Cooking the Greek Parmos at his restaurant. Uh, well, anyhow, guys, thank you all for watching. Please drop a like on this video, subscribe to Bola Fan TV, and also subscribe to my own channel in the description. In for now, I'm Mike Loudon. Up the Bola!